In this video, let us look into median of a grouped or a continuous frequency distribution. Now, uh, till the previous video, we've been looking into the median, you know, of random, you know, data or just a discrete frequency distribution. So what we're going to do in this video is look into like continuous frequency distribution. So let us, it's not very different from the previous ones. Uh, of course, there are little changes. You know, the way the median is uh, found is a little different. There is a formula to find the median of a continuous frequency distribution. So, well, uh, let's look into that with the help of an example. So, uh, here is the example that we, we are going to look into to see how to find the median of a group or a continuous frequency distribution. So, we've got this frequency distribution here where the variate, you know, is in the forms of groups like 5 to 10, 10 to 15 and so on. In the previous videos, it was like single digit numbers, you know, I mean, like single numbers. It wasn't like groups. It was like 23, 24 or whatever that was. But here it's like groups, 5 to 10, 10 to 15. So what we're supposed to do is uh, we're supposed to first, you know, prepare a cumulative table. So what we have to do is first find out the cumulative frequency. There's no change in that. So that doesn't change. So these steps don't change until like really late in the process, you know, till four or five steps. It's all the same as the previous ones. Only in the ending do the steps change. So let's see what is that. First, you know, let us write the table as it is. The class is uh, five to ten. Just list down all these things. So, so we've got 5 to 10 and then 10 to 15 and we've got 15 to 20 and we've got 20 to 25 and we've got 25 to 30 and we've got 30 to 35 and then we've got 35 to 40 and then we've got 40 to 45. All right, now the frequency. What's the frequency of all these classes? We've got 5, 6, 15, 10, 5, 4, 2, and 2. And now uh, we need to make the cumulative frequency. Find, find out the cumulative frequency and write the table for it. So the cumulative frequency is not very complex. It's just, again, simple stuff. 5, 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 15 is 26. 26 plus 10 is 36. 36 plus 5 is 41. 41 plus 4 is 45. 47 and 49. So, right, so we've got the sum of the frequency also is 49, right? So, we've got the cumulative frequency. So, now what we have is, uh, so n is uh, 49. And uh, what we have to do is the same as in the previous stuff. We need to divide n by 2. So, it becomes 49 by 2, which is 24.5. Now, now, what we have to do is just look into the cumulative frequency for a number that is a little greater than 24.5 which is 26 right so 26 is the number greater than 24.5 so now correspond this to the class now correspond this this to the class we get uh, 15 to 20. so class corresponding to 26 is 15 to 20. so now what do we do with this data 15 to 20. Now what we do is we get new data out of this. Now this is where things change from. Till here the things were as same as it was in the previous video or in the previous problems where you know we found out median of raw data or a discrete frequency distribution. But here it changes from here. Once you get to the class, you find out which class it is 15 to 20. As soon as you find this 15 to 20, you've got L equals 15, which corresponds to this lower class limit. And then you've got the capital F which corresponds to 11 that is nothing but the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class so this capital f equals 11 is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the me median class so it is the cumulative frequency of the class that is preceding the Median class is what it says. Now we've got 15 to 20, right? So we need to find the cumulative frequency of the class that is preceding this. That is 11. It's just about 26. So you need to come like this. The class preceding the median class. So that is 11. So that's the capital F all about. And then we've got the small f, which is equal to the frequency that is corresponding to this 15 to 20, which is 15. And then we've got h, which is the class size. And that is 5, 15 minus 10 or 20 minus 15 or whatever that is. So now, 
we've got the formula for median which is nothing but median equals small l plus capital N by 2 minus capital F divided by small f times h. Now all you have to do is just substitute these values l equals 15, 15 plus capital N equals 49, so 49 divided by 2 minus 11 divided by 15 times 5. 5 goes 3 times here, so we've got 15 plus 24.5. 49 by 2 is 24.5 minus 11 divided by 3. So we've got 15 plus what is 24.5 minus 11? 24.5 minus 10 is a 14.5. 14.5 minus 1 is 13.5. So divided by 3. So solving this, uh, we get 19.5. So the median of this of this continuous frequency distribution here is exactly 19.5. So how do we find this? Not very different from the way we found the median of a discrete frequency distribution. But once you correspond, once you find the class that corresponds to the cumulative frequency at 26 greater than half of the n year, you need to change all the steps. You know, you need to get the lower limit L, which is 15, and then get the frequency F, which corresponds to the class interval that we've just found, which is again 15, and then get the capital F, which is nothing but the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the class that we've just found. So that's 11. And then H equals 5, which is nothing but the size of the class. So these are the things that change. And then you just have to substitute this in the formula. Median equals L plus, open brackets, N by 2 minus capital F divided by small f times H. So when you solve all these things, you get the median of this continuous frequency distribution. So this is just an example to help you understand how to find the median of a group or a continuous frequency distribution. In the forthcoming videos, let us solve problems based on median of a group or a continuous frequency distribution.